All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Bloomin' Bloomin to You, you episode, episode three. three. Let I... me be in love with you. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I, 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 I see this like, as a good start. Yeah, I think, I think this could... They're still learning how to do things. I mean, mm -hmm. Koito is, but... Yeah. Yeah they're, they're, yeah. they're both definitely learning. This is high school, so there will be all kinds of mistakes that are made. Mm -hmm. But all of that being said, we have had tons of progress in yeah. that feelings have been communicated. Mm -hmm. There has been responses to those communications, yep. you know, right? And an understanding of exactly what was being communicated. No, you know, second guessing or thinking you have nope. it wrong. Um, and now it's just, do they get closer in that way or not? Yeah, they're going to have lots of time to. They've got mm -hmm. things that are going to bring them together in terms of just giving them, you know, convenient opportunities to yep. have chemistry. Right. But there might not be chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the the whole shoujo manga thing is that is that going to be something that's shown to be subverted of like, oh, hey, love isn't like that. Or is this going to be the the fun little happy Wait, ending where she does get that, you know, doki doki it just, feeling. It just takes a while. Right. It's a bit of a roundabout way to get there. Hmm. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh. Oh. High school insecurities. Mm-hmm. Uh. I'm not in love with her, I swear! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, eventually you'll end up with right, her. Right. It's like, damn it, no, I, I, let me, let me figure shit out! Hey, I mean, <laughs> and then afterwards they're like, oh, I mean, hey, Koito, it's fine if you don't want to join yeah. the student council, that's, you know. There's a, there's a really sad pattern that that reminds me of, though, is that when people usually don't choose to go into things themselves, they have to get dragged in by their friends. Uh. That usually has some instances of referring to their self-worth and the idea yes. that they're afraid of failure. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and I think with the whole idea of it starting out with, why is Nanami in love with me? It's like, mm -hmm. like that point where you're, you're questioning who you are and you don't really know the answer to that question. So mm -hmm. when someone else comes along and is like, I think you're amazing. It's like, well, why? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm constantly, you know, thinking of all the things that I don't like about myself, you know? Yeah. And now because of Utena, we know that this is the <laughs> classic symbol of lesbians. <laughs> Lying inverted and mm -hmm. holding each other's hand. Yeah. <laughs> you just did that. Oh. Okay. I'm quite persistent. I was hoping you'd like me by now. <laughs> yes, indirect kiss. <laughs> she probably wasn't thinking about it, and then she's like, oh, oh wait a minute. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Ah, you do seem like a hmm. bookstore kind of person. And in that two seconds while you were walking away, she was thinking like, do I have anything that I need to do that way? <laughs> Is Fujishiro, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> not not Fujiyoshi. <laughs> no, obviously they wouldn't. <laughs> oh, but they do probably have some. Oh, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damn it. Yes. Uh, my friend. Yes. Yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> ah, his sister, okay. <laughs> the two texts in a row. 
Troubles, and so it's like, not sure if I want to see a, hmm. a romance. Maybe. Maybe she did. Damn it. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Emotions are a They're messy, okay? Oh. Okay. Alright. Turn out the lights and yep. turn it on. These things are fun. Nice. The reinforcing like how long they've known each other and like Take her hand. Come with me. Yeah. Nice. Everywhere you go, I'll be there too. I built myself. Hmm. Do you need to be that for everybody, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. 
Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Disappeared like that. Please, I'm so in love with you. I need to... Oh. Oh. Mm, we don't need oh. to see. Damn. Yes, yes. That's the meaning behind those words. Nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <笑>ナナの東子さんの応援演説を開催優先お願いします。特別にこだわるのかはわからないけど、それでも。ナナミ東子さんを応援させていただく。ナナミ先輩こそが生徒会長にふさわしいと思うのには生徒会役員として。その仕事の内容を熟知していることです。弱い癖に。うん。私は 生徒会役員になりたいと思います。ナイス。ナイス。この選挙活動の間、私の手伝いなんて必要ないのではと思う。いや、私にできることがあると言ってくれたから、先輩の助けになりたいです。先輩を支えてもらえたらと思います。生き
all on top of that why it meant so much to her mm -hmm. because it's the that's I'm so not special to her mm -hmm. that she doesn't even realize that's what I'm asking. Right. Right. Like. Yeah. 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 I love it. And thus the attraction is born out of something that is so entirely focused on how free Koito could let her be mm -hmm. um, yep. by her presence. And it's yeah. interesting because in a lot of ways that means that there's a there's a very um, specific problem that's going to come up in the future which is the fact that Koito is fulfilling a need for Nanami mm -hmm. that Nanami is not able to get from anywhere else. Sure. But that is not really Koito's responsibility. That's true. Yeah. So while this is a personality character flaw because of the way that she, you know, grew up and she chose to use this as mm -hmm. the defense slash protection against that old right. other life. And she still wants to maintain the uh -huh. I'm special persona because mm -hmm. cause like because yep. that that persona is not a bad thing. Well, no, because, no, there's there's nothing bad or good about it. It's just that it's a crutch right now. Well, it's not a bad thing. It's something that she wants. the The thing that needed to be dealt with is the place that it stemmed from. The fear of I don't want to be the person that I used to be, and that's why I think it was so important that mm -hmm. then the old version of her fades away. Right, right, right. That's in huge, that, but but we need to see that in action. Exactly, right. Yeah. The idea that that could be something where maybe it starts here, mm -hmm. and then, like, but it doesn't stop there, right? Because then right. you just end up getting to something where she's then dependent on Koito. Yep, exactly what I was talking about. Rather yep. than, like, her, yep. her uh, changing for the better as a result of Koito. Right. But, yeah. So, really good stuff. I think a lot of people can resonate with... Uh, Nanami's plight here in that a lot of us grew up in situations where you uh, didn't have much identity so you end up crafting one that you think will be liked most by other people but it's mm -hmm. not really you it's something that is forged it's something that's not a forgery but it's you know it's it's made, you know, mm -hmm. and and self improvement is good. That, that, but that's that's the thing that I think is really cool here is that we don't have self improvement. We have self acceptance being a thing. Exactly. She couldn't even accept who she was back then, right. and she still can't accept who she is right now. And it's that she can have somebody else accept her, and then it's the cool. My needs are getting met, mm -hmm. which is good. Yep. Go get your needs met, everybody. Like do it in healthy ways. But if you can only do it in an unhealthy way for now that's fine just go go do it yeah right and then in a similar way mm -hmm. um koito is getting kind of uh kind of getting the same thing because yes. she has all of these self-esteem issues mm -hmm. right because it's the i'm just a normal girl and mm -hmm. at the same time feels um weird different why don't why don't i get the doki doki right right and yet her very uh, normalcy that she talks about and kind of like slams herself for, right? Sure. Is the very thing that like is special is is special <laughs> to Nanami, right? right? So so it's this it's this wonderful thing where it's not about it's not about you being a perfect person or you being a special person. It's about right. you being the perfect person for this person or the special right. person for this person, right? Yeah. And and That's there what you love go. Is. That's, That's what, what love is. is. Yeah, it warps reality. Mm -hmm. It literally changes yep. your perspective and mm -hmm. and changes the rules, cognition, and everything to yeah. where you're seeing things differently. So yep. to you, you look at yourself and you go, "Why does Nanami love me? Mm -hmm. w why? I don't get it." Well, this episode we found out why, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a beautiful thing, and it's something that you can't really. A change, but you could you could hurt. I would say the thing that's really cool about oh. this is that this is real vulnerability from Nanami. Ah, right. And so I want to see Koito's vulnerability slowly but surely open up here mm -hmm. because that's not being explored here. And this is something that I'm 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 already seeing the ways in which the drama is going to be set up because the episode ended with the what this was going to cost me kind of thing. Oh, uh huh. And so I'm like, ah, okay. I see like five different angles that we can take things for the um, 
a, a plot to have some drama. Right, without it here. needing to be like, a, oh, you know, the usual stuff of do do I know that they like me and all that well, stuff since the, we're yeah, already no, past no, no, that. No, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even yeah. going to remotely bring that up. I'm just yeah. talking about actual natural drama. Just the idea that Nanami needs Koito. Mm-hmm. Koito doesn't need Nanami right now. Like, she, no. She doesn't. And and that that dynamic is going to be explored as, I would say, Koito becomes more and more just attached and or, yeah. you know, expecting of these things from, from Nanami. So well, that's, that's going to be interesting. Uh, right now she's a reactive protagonist, right? Mm-hmm. Because she, yeah. this is all this is all new to her. She doesn't exactly yep. know how she feels about all of this. Mm-hmm. And so she's like, well, okay, I'll, I'll you know, I'll stick with you because I, you know, I think you're pretty cool and all that. But like, as far as the, the you know the main plot of this show the romance mm-hmm. nah she's she's taking a back seat but there will come a point where she's not and then that yeah that could then that could then cause some some complications because well they're different people so you know mm-hmm. yeah god but the uh a bit at the beginning of the episode with the oh you're going to join the student council eventually right what? Why would you say no. that? No, 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 you do, you do. And while the friends know her from middle school, so they're like, well, we know you. There was that little bit of like, yeah, you just kind of fall into things once they kind of are shown to be, well, maybe a bit convenient or just around you. I want to make sure that while this is something that she could just end up falling for Nanami Mm -hmm. because, well, she loves her. I want this to be something where she's very careful with how she protects the connection that she does have with Nanami because if she ends up, if it ends up being like a, oh, this is lovely, everything's going great, it it snowballs into love, that it's something that she is actually genuinely in love with her versus right. not just being the well, I, I guess I'm in the softball club, so I might as well join. Well, and, and do yeah, it really and hard, you know? and I think that's the Even she, that's the that's the part where as we as we get to know Koito more over the course of right. the show, we'll get to see exactly what was uh, what was meant by the whole situation with the softball club because mm-hmm. it could totally be the I was kind of pressured into joining the softball club, I wasn't joining anything else, so I might as well make the most of it versus the um, I. I don't engage with things readily on my own, and then once I'm, you know, around something, then that's, you know, uh, is that the go, same? No, no, no. So like, if if she's in the softball club and it's the I might as well, right? Because I'm I'm already here. Versus the getting to the point where she actually does want to enjoy the softball club right say right because you know right. and it's the i might not have I, I might not have been the one that would have picked this at the start would have you know chosen this club right but right no and, i actually i actually think softball is pretty cool it's you know right but, but that, that's not and that's that's one of the things that i wanted to bring up here is she's never said that she really liked softball softball is just a thing she was she was good at the idea that if there's something that you're involved in mm-hmm. there can be times where you put more effort into it because you're like well i'm in it but the idea of in this it's a relationship where it's Uh the does she actually like nanami because that's that's the whole point of her right kind of questioning this and stuff with uh does she actually know what love is it's am i supposed to feel a doki doki like what Mm -hmm. well and i think that's the that's the aspect where it's like yes of course she doesn't she doesn't love nanami yet Mm -hmm. although that in and of itself um might not entirely be accurate because her current understanding of love is is it uh it's it's flawed right? oh yeah yeah you know That's so for sure yeah. so like we're we're at that moment where we're going through all the all the beats of the story where the characters care about each other very much mm-hmm. and are doing the things that are things that you do for someone that you care about or say someone that you love right but whether that's romantic or not necessarily that's the thing to be you know discovered right sure um yeah that's just really exciting because I, I see this as the foundational episode for basically the entire story. Yeah. Like, from yeah. here, they did so much with just the little bit of stuff that we got on focusing on Nanami's past so that once we get to know Koito's a little bit more and understand why she's so kind of brusque and cold to her her family, for instance, mm-hmm. like or specifically just her sister, um, uh, I feel like we can 
see that that vulnerable side to yes. her as well because I, I I resonate with both these girls in very different ways mm. but I do resonate with the idea of the person that doesn't actually strike out on their own and do something that corresponds to who they are they just end up getting kind of put into things and then they put all their effort into it because they have either some kind of fear of failure so they don't want to be looked at as like someone that you know didn't try or put any effort into it sure but then also afterwards they immediately abandon the thing to switch to go to find another thing because because mm. they didn't actually choose it they had, well, they had, well they had no real passion for it originally the idea is that softball was not something that she actually really wanted to do it's just yeah i'm gonna remake myself i'm gonna do something different it's the Mm. Sure. Although, yeah. although, could that uh, could you take that and apply it also to the whole Doki Doki thing, where um, it might be that she doesn't experience passion, say the same way most people would. Well, yeah, you know? but, but but that's that's the thing is she wouldn't know that she had experienced passion. She, it, it would be a thing of where, from her perspective, she didn't. You know, if she if she if she had a no, thing no, no, where right. it's that kind of thing, it would be from her perspective a she wouldn't see it as it having been a thing at all. So she's looking for the next thing that can stir uh, her up like that if, that, if that's the case. Right, Yeah. right. And then it would, if that's applied then in their relationship, it would right. either be something where maybe there's a separation as she thinks, you know, she needs to, you know, like keep looking. It's not actually going to happen mm -hmm. with Nanami. And then maybe, you know, she has the realization of like, oh, wait, maybe that's not actually what love is, you know, and and right. And that's where that's where I like a lot of the uh, conveniences that happened this episode and have been happening in the show. Yes. With regards to their relationship. So yeah. things like, oh, this is your family's store. Cool. Mm -hmm. So there's a meet the family already in episode three, even when they're not dating or anything. <laughs> right. Things like the family being very, very supportive and the and the sister even being like, oh, your girlfriend, you know. And then it's like, no, no, sis, you know. I so was a bit confused by the dad's thing, though. Yeah, that... He could. He was saying it, you could knock me down with a feather, meaning that would blow me away, you know? Yeah. Basically being like, wow, right, that, that could, could be positive, that could be negative. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know, I right. don't know which I'm one I'm not familiar that with that turn of phrase, so I was just like, yeah, oh, okay, either. you know. Yeah. But, but I thought it was negative originally. I, I did think it was negative, too, but given given how the sister is, at the very least, I'm I'm optimistic that that could be a source of where Koito gets some good talks about what love actually is if it gets to the point where she's like mm -hmm. having these you know these like these things that she's thinking and feeling and all that stuff or not yeah. feeling and then she brings stuff up to them and then maybe oh, there could yeah, be some I really don't... sweet conversation of like ah yeah I don't you know. think she's vulnerable enough with her family for anything like that she's, oh no shows no definitely not contempt yet. for her sister so I'm yeah. curious about where that's where that's leading mm -hmm. um but yeah, very, very strong, very strong addition to the story. Yep. We now know Nanami so much more. The idea that also Koito knows exactly what mm -hmm. she was meaning back then is such a cool uh, yes. detail to take a powerful scene from the first episode and keep recontextualizing it over and over again is is awesome. And that's that's what love is. You take someone and you realize how infinite they are in that they're another person and you get to see every single side of them. You get mm -hmm. to have access and connection with every single little bit of them. And that's, that's just so beautiful. Yeah. This episode I would have been absolutely happy with to have as like a mid-season finale. And yet we get it as episode three. Yep. And I'm just like, all right, yep. awesome, awesome. Fantastic. Yep. But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out my Persona 5 role. Let's play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.